In this video, we're going to talk about the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. The big payoff for all of this work we put into cellular respiration. So, let's begin by talking about the electron transport chain. Now, we've already gone over, in general terms, what an electron transport chain is all about. And in more specific terms, the electron transport chain found on this inner mitochondrial membrane right here. So that's the membrane between the intermembrane space and what's called the mitochondrial matrix. That membrane is where all this action is going to take place. So that internal membrane in the mitochondria. And what we're going to see happen is NAD and FADH2, those two electron carriers we've been looking at this whole time, well, they're finally going to come into play and do something for us. And what they're going to do is dump off their electrons which get transported through a series of proteins and through a series of redox reactions. And we'll talk about those redox reactions in just a second. Now, ultimately what's gonna happen is those electrons get picked up by oxygen and that forms water and this whole process drives these proton pumps to pump protons across the membrane. So NADH and FADH2 dump their electrons at the electron transport chain, which oxidizes them so that they can then go back to those earlier processes and pick up more electrons. And all of this is happening on that internal membrane of the mitochondria. Now, what's the deal with these redox reactions? Well, you might have noticed that the electron transport chain is organized into four protein complexes. And those protein complexes contain reaction centers. And these reaction centers are good at doing redox reactions. So what happens when NADH and FADH2 dump their electrons off is those electrons move through a series of redox reactions. And each redox reaction lowers the free energy or the potential energy of those electrons by just a little bit. And we kind of already talked about why this is. And just to recap, if we were to take hydrogen and oxygen gases and form water, well, this would release a ton of energy. But it's hard for cells to capture all that energy and use it efficiently, right? cells can only capture a little bit of that energy that gets released and use that for stuff. So the point of the electron transport chain is to move those electrons through smaller redox reactions that release less energy so that overall the cell can capture more usable energy by going through all of those little reactions than it could if the cell just had that stuff go through that one big explosive reaction that releases a lot of energy. So the whole point here is to milk as much energy as possible out of those electrons. And we're going to talk about how that energy is used on the next page. 